so you're thinking about moving to Montclair, New Jersey. Well, that's where I am here today, and I was thinking about giving you guys a tour, showing you around what's in the area, what kind of uh, shops are downtown, restaurants, and give you a little taste of the area. We're gonna talk about real estate, we're gonna talk about school district, and again, we're gonna show you what's around that you can enjoy. We're just east, actually, of um, Eagle Rock Reservation, which is just up the hill. I'll pan over there. So if we just go a little bit that way, um, Eagle Rock Reservation is a preserve of land that has beautiful views of the city. You can see all the way down into Manhattan. Um, you can even see as far as the Verrazano Bridge. And there's lots of hiking trails over there. So lots of cool things to do in Montclair. I'm actually standing right now in front of the art gallery, the Montclair Art Museum. And that's an amazing thing to have in your town, to have a beautiful, nice art gallery to check out. And there's lots of traveling exhibits that come in there. Um, lots of things to do. So let's get into the video, get some more details on the town, and give you a sense of what's in Montclair. <laughs> If this is your first visit to the channel and you're looking to learn everything there is to know about the Midtown Direct suburbs of New York City, then subscribe below and tap the notification bell so you can be the first to hear about the current market here in New Jersey and New York. Hey, I'm Jeff, the team and I, we get calls every day from people just like you who are thinking about moving to one of New York City's amazing suburbs, and we love it. So whether you're moving in seven days or seven months, give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email so we can help you find the perfect place. So as I said in the top of the video, we're here in Montclair, New Jersey. And uh, we stopped over at Edgemont Park, which is a beautiful pond. I use the word organic a lot, but it is sort of triangularly shaped um, and it has like rolling um, paths. This beautiful pond here with fountains. Um, this monument here is for the Great World War, World War I. Um, and it has this beautiful statue on top. And the school behind me is one of the elementary schools here. This is Edgemont Elementary. And there's actually seven elementary schools here in Montclair. Then there's three middle schools and one high school. Uh, it's, again, very well rated on niche.com. Those aren't my opinions. You have to check out their data and see how they rate those. Uh, you can also check out greatschools.com. Um, I'll put a link down below so you can check those out and dig into those a little bit more. Um, but Montclair is a very lovely town. It's about 40,000 people, a little over 40,000 and um, it's right up, as I said in the beginning, against um, Eagle Rock Reservation. There's a beautiful um, restaurant on the top there, so you can always, if you're visiting, you can check that out and see the view. Um, and it's a mix of uh, Victorian homes. It was settled in um, 1868, so you have a mix of Victorian homes and a lot of Tudor-style homes in the area. Uh, here's one behind me, sort of Victorian era. Uh, lots of these wraparound porches. And when you're on the mountainside facing east, you get a lot of homes that have amazing views of the city. Um, so those are interesting if you're looking for a stately home um, that has amazing views to kind of connect you back to the city. Uh, something to keep in mind if your search is very particular and you want something amazing. There's definitely a lot of those options in Montclair. We'll talk about real estate more a little later, but I wanted to give you a tour of the, uh, the park here. Let's head on over to Walnut Street and show you a little bit of the downtown there. There's actually six train stations in uh, Montclair. And um, it's, you know, most towns have like one train station, but there's a local route on the, on the, um, the town line. And we'll, we'll go over there, we'll talk about train times. Uh, there is six stations, so you're gonna have to check out each one and see. But lovely little town here. And yeah, so yeah, let's go check out Walnut Street area. So here we are, Walnut Street Station. Um, this is the second stop into Montclair if you're coming from New York, um, or it's the second to last stop out if you're going to New York. Um, the next one's Bay Street. So from here, Walnut Street, you've got a commute of about 42 minutes in your best case for morning commutes. Um, there are some longer trains, but those are gonna have like transfers and stuff, so you're gonna watch out and see what works best for your schedule. From Bay Street, which is one stop closer, you're gonna be about 37 minutes at your best time. So you've got some really quick trains into the city, uh, get you into Penn Station. Uh, here's the parking area. There's a little, this is uh, called Depot Square. 
there's a little restaurant in Depot Square. But what's really cool about Walnut Street is if you go down here, I'm gonna show some video of uh, what's down on Walnut Street. But you've got really nice restaurants that are right off the train. So if you're like coming home late, you just wanna grab a bite to eat, you've got a really nice pizza place there. It's called Brick and Dough. That's a, like a brick oven pizza. And then you've got a nice new um, Thai place coming in soon that hasn't actually even opened yet. Um, there's even a pierogi place. There's a little dinette, luncheonette place. Um, lots of coffee options over there. So you've also got Harvey's Bagels, so you could grab a cup of coffee in the morning. And then again, in the evening, if it's if it's the right time of day, you've got the uh, brewery, Montclair Brewery right here. Um, some little like home living stores. So definitely, if you're visiting the area, you're gonna wanna check that out and see, um, you know, if this is a good good commuting spot for you. Um, there, there are four other trains. They go all the way up to the north corner of Montclair, and those actually um, butt up against Montclair University. So I was talking about the schools earlier. I forgot to mention that you have Montclair State University, um, which kind of borders two towns um, to the north of the, the area. So lots of cool stuff in terms of commuting. Um, obviously, as you go further away in terms of your stops, you're gonna have a little bit longer of a commute um, than the 37 minute best time from Bay Street, but um, yeah, some good options for you to get into the city. I just jumped over to uh, more the center of Montclair, which would be Bloomfield Avenue. Of course, no tour would be complete without Bloomfield. And I'm standing in front of some newer buildings behind me. There's a really nice um, rowing studio here, row house, uh, some cool frozen yogurt, lots of, lots of nice Spanish restaurant, lots of cool stuff up here. But the main stuff is sort of down, if you're going sort of southeast down um, Bloomfield Avenue, there's tons of restaurants, um, all different styles of food, uh, really everything you need because this, I'd say out of all the towns I've shown on the channel, this town is one of the bigger ones, obviously 40,000 people. Uh, but in terms of like the downtown area, you've got Bloomfield Avenue, we're gonna cut over, we're gonna show you church um, as well. There's lots of cool restaurants on church that we'll check out. Um, but in terms of like stores, restaurants, Bloomfield Avenue is where it is. Um, I mean, the, I could list all the restaurants, but we'll walk by, I'll show you some B-roll of the area. And um, in terms of like retail, you've got also clothing stores, you've got boutiques, you've got the big ones like Urban Outfitters, Lululemon, kind of the usual crowd. Uh, lots of like nail salons and stuff like that. Um, lots of stuff down here. This is a really cool paper store called Parcel. Really beautiful um, sign that they have. And the, the interior design is really cool with their, what they're exhibiting there. Um, there's a nice seafood restaurant, Nori. Uh, you've got a yoga studio. You've got um, athletic running shoe store, Thai restaurant here. And, um, and this goes all the way down. Now, we'll head down there and check it out and uh, yeah, show you some more of what's here. So we're heading down Bloomfield and uh, we just reached Park Street. I just want to point out this really cool restaurant. Uh, I think it's pronounced Fau Frauberg. Frauberg. Um, definitely something I want to check out because it's a really pretty interior design. And uh, one place I have visited for lunch is Sweet Kitchen. Uh, they've got some really great uh, healthy options. Um, cakes, uh, different, really kind of everything. It's like bakery, coffee, lunch. Um, so yeah, we're here at Park and Bloomfield. You've got some cool pizza places. Um, looks like it's um, another Mexican place over there. Actually, I think we've had Mexican there on a visit. Um, we've got the Gyro place, uh, CVS Pharmacy, Lululemon. So, like I said, Bloomfield has everything. It's really your main hub. Um, another cool restaurant looks nice is Samba Montclair and Napoli Trattoria. Um, and cool, cool like art everywhere. Uh, but like, look at this chicken here. It's really artistically well done. Um, you know, we talked about at the top, you've got the Montclair Art Museum. And that kind of runs through Montclair. You've got a really cool film festival that happens here. And um, we'll show you the theater over there. Um, lots of cool stuff. Just um, 
just jam-packed with cool little restaurants and shops. In addition to the Napoli pizza, you've got Porta Pizza, which they've got a nice uh, location as well in Jersey City, so you might have heard of them from there. You've got Leon's on Park Street. Is it is it pronounced Le Leon's or Leone's? Oh, okay. So I just had a funny exchange with one of the guys that works over here. It's actually Leone's. I was saying it wrong, so that's a little embarrassing. But um, yeah, Leone's, Restaurante, and then they have the pizza next door. So uh, good pie if you're going to want to get pizza one day. And as I said, there's lots of pizza in the area. You've got um, the Porta and so on. Oh, I just want to point this out. This is really nice. Lead Platinum, uh, Lead Gold building actually, so that's really good. They're doing some environmental restoration here at the hair studio. This is Hair 491. Lead, if you don't know, I'm actually a Lead AP Legacy. Um, Lead is an environmental building uh, sort of rating program, and uh, it allows architects, designers, developers to classify their building to get as as good of a sustainability score as they can. So. Um, I'll put some info in the description about that, but that's a really great uh, resource in terms of, you don't see that a lot on commercial buildings. Uh, actually, I take that back. You do, you do see a lot on commercial buildings that are new builds, but not on restorations like this. So I'm curious how they did that. Um, but anyways, where I was trying to go down here was to show you the Montclair uh, Film Festival. That's actually going on right now. Uh, just started today. Um, it happens in the fall. so. Definitely something to check out if you're looking to look in the area and it happens to be fall when you're watching this. I guess there's definitely a seasonality to that, obviously. So uh, let's jump over on Church Street and show you some of the stuff over there. Okay, so we arrived on Church Street and we're just taking a little walk down the bottom. There is uh, Anthropology right here. So again, lots of good fashion brands in the area that are sort of national change. This is the old Claridge's building, which is a beautiful, uh, sort of Spanish style design. Um, well, I say Claire, it says pink building, but the Claridge's used to be here. Um, and you've got really nice shops here, like everything from like art, sports collection, novelty stores, even a pharmacy. There's a nice uh, French bakery, the Boulangerie, Montclair Grill House. And down the way is a really cool diner called Raymond's. It's kind of like a classic style, but like a modern take. Really good food. Um, I definitely recommend checking that one out. Yeah, a little bit of everything. You've got kitchen design store, uh, of Everest, Everest kitchen design, uh, falafel, optician, uh, cool little, this is a really cool little uh, gelato place here. Benvenuti. Um, that looks really tasty. Fresco de Franco, uh, really cool restaurant with some outdoor seating. Uh, church is a one-way street and it's very quiet because it doesn't really take you anywhere. Um, so it's got like a nice quiet vibe. Also some like vintage clothing, lots of antique shops on the road. It's not super busy right now because it's a daytime, but here's Raymond's. Let me show you this, a really cool storefront too. Kind of an Art Nouveau storefront, really classic design. And the food is really good. Definitely gonna wanna check that out if you're here. Yeah, here's that Claridge's store. It runs, runs sort of the north side of the street and then the south side of the street is all these sort of like art deco buildings, individual storefronts. Scala del Nona, Restaurante, another good one. Here's again some of those antique shops I was telling you about, jewelry and antiques. So here is Church Street, definitely a, worth a look if you're over here. Just got to the top of um, it's actually South Park Street where we are here. And then um, Church Street runs. I'll show a little map kind of showing the triangle I just walked. Uh, but we got Starbucks, um, some fashion, some um, pottery kind of painting thing. Uh, Leon's is over there, as I said. You got Blue Mercury, um, Pliables, and Urban Outfitters. And then there's some, this is a newer building here. You've got some storefronts down here with some shops. So. Definitely a kind of cool downtown spot to grab food, um, have lunch, have dinner. And um, if, if we go kind of to the end of Church Street where I just came from, that's going towards Bay Street Station. If I was to walk straight where I'm going right now uh, and walk for like a half mile, maybe not even, um, we'd be at uh, Walnut Street. And um, yeah, so just really cute downtown. 
Um, it's bigger, like I said, it's bigger than a lot of the other downtowns I've showed you, um, just because of the size of the town. Um, a little bit more historic. I mean, they're all very historic, but this one has a lot of cool historic, um, like bank storefronts, in all different eras. Like I said, you've got the sort of uh, neoclassical look. You've got some of these. Um, this one's sort of. I don't know how to describe it. It's sort of like an Italian building. This is the Plaza apartment complex. And like I said, a lot of um, sort of Art Nouveau storefronts, some modern, um, but really cool vibe down here. Lots of stuff to do. Uh, Lululemon right next to me here. So I'm coming back to Bloomfield. Just lots of cool, saying that, I know, lots of cool stuff. So I hope you enjoyed the tour of the downtown, uh, Bloomfield Avenue, Park Street, Church Street. I think that's a really cool little triangle. Um, I just popped over walking along one of the sort of bordering streets, show you some of the homes that are in the area. Uh, you've got a really great mix of homes if we're going to talk about real estate now. Um, cool little sculpture park behind me. So you've got a really good mix of homes uh, in Montclair, everything from like very big sort of stately mansions, you might even say. Right now there's about 85 listings in the market. That's everything including condos and investment properties. Um, but homes, uh, larger homes are going to be around the 3.8 million to 1.5 million uh, for much larger homes. And um, the sort of mid-range homes, sort of medium to s smaller homes, uh, are gonna be around 1 million to 700,000. Condos right now are ranging from uh, mid 400s to low 200s. So like I said, there is a really good mix. There's also some investment properties. I forgot to look up the exact numbers on those, but um, in terms of inventory and stock throughout the town, it is a larger town, so you've got a really good spectrum of sort of sizes. Uh, 12 month averages have just been under 1.1 million. It's about um, 1,090,000. Five beds averaging around 1.5. Four beds averaging just under 1.1. Three beds just under 800,000. So definitely a lot more stock in this area than some of the other towns I've showed you. But again, it's a bigger town. Um, and that's going to fluctuate. So, you know, you might see this in a year and it could be very different. So, um, that's real estate in Montclair, New Jersey. Yeah, I guess we'll wrap it up here. I hope you enjoyed the tour and um, I hope you, hope you found it helpful. And in the future, if you'd like to get in touch and take a look at some homes, we'd love to help you out and get you into the area if this is what's interesting to you. Um, if you're interested in checking out other towns, we've got some links below for other pl places to see. Um, but in the meantime, if you have any comments, get in touch with us, or if you have any questions, uh, definitely reach out or put it down below in the comments to help other people. And uh, we'll be seeing you in the next video. Thanks a lot.